ವಾಕ್ಯಮೇನನ್ನು ಪ್ರತಿಕಿಂಚನು ಬಾಧಲೋ ನಿಲ್ಮದಿ ನಿಚ್ಚನು ನೀ ವಾಕ್ಯಮೇನನ್ನು ಪ್ರತಿಕಿಂಚನು ಬಾಧಲೋ ನಿಮ್ಮದಿ ನಿಚ್ಚನು ಕೃಪಾ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದಯಾ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ವಾಕ್ಯಮಯಿ ಉನ್ನಯಿಸು ವಂದನಮಯ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದಯಾ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ವಾಕ್ಯಮಯಿ ಉನ್ನಯಿಸು ವಂದನಮಯ್ಯ ನೀ ವಾಕ್ಯಮೇನನ್ನು ಪ್ರತಿಕಿಂಚನು ಬಾಧಲೋ ನಿಲ್ಮದಿ ನಿಚ್ಚನು Dear brothers and sisters, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. my brothers and sisters in jesus christ today the church invites each and every one of us to celebrate the feast of saint monica and to reflect about her lifestyle as many of you know so great woman and wonderful inspiration given as example to all the christian mothers this simple lady shed her tears the moment she got married to a pagan husband a pagan person from that moment she started crying 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 for the conversion of her husband then that crying continued when she bore two sons and among them is saint agustin when he reached adulthood he also became as like that of father and he also went away from the prayerful atmosphere of mother and he started living in worldly attractions and in a sinful nature and she cried out cried out cried out then god took compassion on her sorrowful situations and consoled her by transforming the lives of her husband and agustin made him such a wonderful and great saint in the church so today my brothers and sisters as we celebrate the feast of this great mother of christian woman let us take inspiration from her and let us start praying unceasingly for the needs of our families needs of our church and especially i request all the mothers don't be discouraged praying for your children if they are not changing their way of life because today this saint monica teaches pray unceasingly cry out for your children for your family members surely the lord will listen your prayer god will answer to your prayer somewhere other and a day so today let us offer ourselves offer our intentions in this holy mass and ask the lord to grant us purity of heart to participate in this holy mass with a great devotion with a great trust and let us pause for a while asking mercy and forgiveness for our sins <coughs> i confess to almighty god to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do 
through my faults through my faults through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary our virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy let us pray o god who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of saint monica for the conversion of her son agustin grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen kindly turn to page number 207 from the new testament page number 207 from the new testament first reading a reading from the second letter of saint paul to the thessalonians chapter 3 verses 6 to 10 and 16 to 18 chapter 3 verses 6 to 10 now we command you beloved in the name of our lord jesus christ to keep away from believers who are living in idleness and not according to the tradition that they received from us for you yourselves know how you ought to imitate us we were not idle when we were with you and we did not eat anyone's bread without paying for it but with toil and labor we worked night and day so that we might not burden any of you this was not because we do not have that right but in order to give you an example to imitate for even when we were with you we gave you this command any one unwilling to work should not eat verse 16 to 18 Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in all ways the Lord be with all of you I Paul write this greeting with my own hand this is the mark in every letter of mine it is the way I write the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you This is the word of the Lord. Kindly turn to page number 658 from the book of Psalms. Page 658 from the book of Psalms. Psalm 128 verses 1 and 2, 4 and 5. Our response, O blessed are those Who fear the Lord Psalm 128 verses 1 and 2 Happy is everyone who fears the Lord who walks in his ways you shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands you shall be happy and it shall go well with you verses 4 and 5 Thus shall the man be blessed who fears the lord the lord bless you from zion may you see the prosperity of jerusalem all the days of your life our response o blessed are those who fear the lord kindly stand for the acclamation to his people ali
Alleluia, Alleluia. Train me, Lord, to observe your law, to keep it with my heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 23, verses from 27 to 30. On page 26 of New Testament. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside they are full of the bones of the dead and of all kinds of filth. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus, you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your ancestors. The Gospel of the Lord. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, once a man wants to know the greatness of a saint who was living in that particular area. He wants to follow him for some time in order to know the greatness, why so many people are respecting him so much. And once this particular person went and asked this saint, Sir, I want to stay with you some time and I want to know what is the special thing that you are having or which is attracting so many people in you. Then this saint wants to teach him a beautiful lesson. One day this saint has to go in a place by walk. And he invited also this particular person to come with him. Then the saint kept a rotten meat piece in his pocket while he was traveling. Then this person when he came from home may, might have taken a nice bath, might have kept a nice perfume with him and he started walking with this saint. Walking, walking, after some time, slowly the sweating started. Then all this nice bath and all this perfume smell, everything disappeared from this person's body. And then after some time, slowly the rotten meat smell starting started touching to the nostrils of this person. Then he was thinking, from where this smell? Maybe from the roadside. He was looking there both sides, never he found. Then slowly walking beside this saint, then the smell is from the pocket of this particular person. Then, until then, the person who walked along with the saint, who started walking beside the saint, Slowly, as they continued journey, he separates himself from the saint, 
if saint is walking front he goes back if the saint is going back this person used to walk front then after some time he found another person walking along with them then they from this person uh, again a beautiful fragrance is coming nice smell from that person so he started walking with that person then this both reach the place where they have to go then he asked my dear sain why such a fill this smell is coming out from your pocket i could not travel with you that's why i am feeling uneasy to walk with you then saint says see my dear son just because of few hours of that rotten smell you could not bear because of that you went along with that person who has a fragrance of nice smell if at all you know the rottenness smell of that person's heart you could have not traveled with him so far this is what today my brothers and sisters the lord speaks to us in the book of prophet isaiah chapter 11 verse 3 and 4 there a beautiful sentence is written his delight shall be in the fear of the lord he shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear this is what normally we the people who are living in this world by seeing the physical attraction physical appearance we say yeah this person is good this person is nice but today the lord speaks through the example of pharisees and scribes why at all the lord should say scribes and pharisees you hypocrites there are two reasons to call them as a hypocrites because they had a great devotion towards the law of the lord towards the temple but instead of loving the law of the lord they tried to love themselves try to give more importance not to the lord not to the law but what are pleasing to them what are pleasing to the others whom they are teaching and we we can see in the book of leviticus where you should love the lord more than anything else and the saint john in his first letter says any person who does not love god or any person who does not know the law of the lord is a liar so instead of loving the lord instead of giving more interest more appearance to the law of the lord these scribes and pharisees started giving more interest more importance for the physical appearance of the law my brothers and sisters that's why the lord is telling you are washed or white washed tombs what is this white white washed tombs means in the uh roman religion the tombs are kept just beside the roads and when the people are having a special occasion they used to white wash the tombs so that they unknowingly may not touch that tombs and uh, lose their uh, purification of offering the uh, sacrifices to the lord in the same way the people are this pharisees and scribes even though their hearts are so much rotten still they used to uh, expose themselves as they are really following the rules and regulations of the lord and they neglect teaching essence of the law 
to the people and if anybody is following that laws with so much of devotion then they used to crucify that particular person why because theirs or their respect may go down in the behalf of people today my brothers and sisters as we are uh, making our devotion towards saint monica and showing our devotion to saint monica let us take little example from her life even though she is very simple lady she used to dedicate her life dedicate each and every work in prayer for the conversion of her husband and son because of whose tears because of whose great devotion changed the lives of husband and son so today not following this scribes and pharisees who gave more importance for the physical appearance of people and appearance of the law but try to know the essence of this law and who will be good by their way of behavior try to find out who will help you to grow in the way of the lord that is more important for us so today let us seek the intercessory support of saint monica and let us ask the lord to help us to understand the essence of the law and try to follow the law which helps us to follow the lord so closely Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. creation for through goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the wine work of human hands it will become for us the spiritual drink blessed be God forever Lord God receive us and receive the gifts that we are offering with God's right hand Lord pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and your words may be acceptable to god the almighty father we bring you these sacrificial gifts o lord to commemorate blessed saint monica humbly and treating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation through christ our lord the lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for the blood of your blessed martyr saint monica poured out like Christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our lord and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim
यू आर इन डीड होली वो लॉर्ड द फाउंट ऑफ ऑल होलीनेस मेक होली देर फोर दीज गिफ्ट वी प्रे बाई सेंडिंग डाउन योर स्पिरिट अपॉन दैम लाइक दैट यू फॉल सो दैट दे मे बिकम फॉर एस द बॉडी एंड ब्लड ऑफ आवर लॉर्ड जीसस क्राइस्ट At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciple saying meerandaru dinini tisukuni bhujim pudu yelayana idi me koraku అపగింపబడనున్న నా శరీరము in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying meerandaru dinini tisukoni dini nundi paanamu cheyudu yelayana idi mee koraku అప్పగింపబడనున్న నా రక్తపు పాత్రము ఇది పాపముల పరిహార్థమై అనేకుల కొరకు అప్పగింపబడనున్న నా రక్తపు పాత్రము దీనిని జ్ఞాపకార్థము చేయుడు the mystery of faith therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and tumabala our archbishop the order of bishops and all the clergy whom you have called from this world to yourself grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died from our own families from this parish in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints with saint monica who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen 
remembering and praying for all those who are celebrating birthdays and wedding anniversaries and remembering the intentions of this holy mass let us pray which our lord himself taught to us our father who art in heaven <coughs> thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace this body and blood of our lord jesus bring it back to us our soul lord jesus and the living lord behold the lamb of god jesus christ who takes away the sins of the world who heals the sick who comforts the suffering blessed are we who are invited to partake in this banquet that is the god of heaven that only say that and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of our lord jesus christ keep us safe for everlasting life amen all those who are celebrating birthdays and wedding anniversaries can come first to receive communion
May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of Blessed Saint Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Go forth, the Mass is ended.